have observed with many corporate leaders who, you know, they've been around a while at a certain age and they have a certain mindset around what they, I'll call it, owe their workforce. And I don't mean this in a punitive way. I just mean, you know, how to build a sustainable, energizing, appreciative place of work. And a lot of them are just completely astonished that that's what their people are looking for them to do and further astonished when people are saying, hang on, I'm not getting that here. Um, Because the engagement numbers are desperate, you know, vast numbers of people unengaged, burned out, not having fun at work, you know, not not enjoying the ride. Um, and, And a lot of leaders not understanding that's part of their absolute responsibility. Well, now maybe they do. (laughs) <laughs> I, yeah, I maybe. Think, yeah I, I, it, you just have you don't have to do it you don't have to run a business that way just because it's working for me doesn't mean that i recommend it for everybody else everybody has their own leadership style it has to feel right for you it has to be true for you i'm just saying what has worked for me is authentic me it's the way i want to lead and therefore I want to attract people who want to be that way. And it's, it's worked, especially in a, in a high growth uh, marketing uh, evolutionary type of business. When I started, it was 1993. Wow. Almost 30 years ago online. Nobody knew even what that was. It was a stupid idea. How did we get online? Remember, remember the the music? Like, you know, 1500 baud modems. It was it was absolutely insane, and it took about a minute oh, to, yeah. uh, for the computer to boot up. Oh yeah, and if there were too many other people on the AOL line, right? You had got a busy, you literally got a busy signal getting onto the internet. I talked to younger people about this, and they're like, "What?" Okay. <laughs> you know, as they're staring at their smartphones, they don't understand yeah. this at all. No, and, and uh, images would take 20, 30 seconds to load. Uh, if you could get your homepage to load under thirty seconds, that was pretty good. <laughs> It's it's completely different. Actually, it was an, it's part of the people ask me sometimes, uh, did you have any luck? Well, of course, I had some luck. Everybody's got some luck. And one of the things that was lucky for me was I started at a time when there was people that didn't even know you could sell things online. So I had some time. I'm not sure that what I did then I could actually do now at the pace that I did it. I'd have to accelerate it much faster today. But back then. Everyone thought I was stupid, so nobody put any money into it, and that was luck. Well, and you write in the book that that sometimes when you have a great idea that nobody else believes in, that's actually a signal of you know entrepreneurial brilliance. 